Special Counsel Mueller's office just subpoenaed a key member of the Trump campaign's data vendor, who is the first member of the team directly linked to Brexit and the president's campaign. Mueller subpoenaed Brittany Kaiser, the former director of Cambridge Analytica, who provided data services to both the Trump campaign and the Brexit referendum campaign to withdraw the UK from the European Union in 2016. The UK's data commissioner raided the company's offices last year over illegal campaigning in favor of Brexit, and it fell into liquidation. Now, Kaiser is cooperating with Mueller's prosecutors according to Carol Cadwell, the Orwell award-winning journalist who uncovered the dark side of big data, in The Guardian Kaiser, is the first person connected directly to both the Brexit and Trump campaigns known to have been questioned by Mueller. Damian Collins, chairman of the United Kingdom Parliament's inquiry into fake news, said it was no surprise that Kaiser was under scrutiny by Mueller because her work connected her to WikiLeaks, Cambridge Analytica and its parent company SCL, the Trump campaign, leave. EU and Aaron Banks. The 31-year-old Kaiser first blew the whistle on Cambridge Analytica 11 months ago saying that she was sick and tired of covering up for old white men. Trump's campaign chairman Steve Bannon co-founded the data firm Cambridge Analytica, which specialized in psychological warfare, and got caught stealing 87 million Facebook profiles last year, which they used to profile voters and micro-target them with propaganda ads during the campaign. Hedge fund billionaire Robert Mercer put up the funding for Cambridge Analytica, as well as for Breitbart News which employed Bannon as publisher until he moved into the Trump campaign in mid-August 2016 soon after Paul Manafort's illegal Ukrainian political activities were revealed. The London-based Cambridge Analytica was not supposed to share Brexit campaign staff with Trump's federal election campaign due to prohibitions on foreign workers making strategic decisions on a U.S. presidential or congressional campaign. The House Intel Committee began investigating Trump's data vendor last year, and now that Democrats control its renewed probe, there is a good chance her testimony may also be sought by Chairman Adam Schiff, D. California. Congress initially began looking at Cambridge Analytica because its CEO, an Eton-educated UK national named Alexander Nix openly bragged about contacting Wikileaks founder Julian Assange seeking to help disseminate Hillary Clinton's stolen emails at a conference, then the video of him saying just that surfaced. Key information which the Mueller probe might investigate is that Russian oil giant Luke Oil was also a client of Cambridge Analytica, who reportedly purchased data on their American election operations. Bannon's company lied about those business ties when questioned by the UK Parliament, but whistleblowers provided them with documents proving the real story, according to the New York Times. The contacts took place as Cambridge Analytica was building a roster of Republican clients in the United States and harvesting the Facebook profiles of over 50 million users to develop tools to analyze voters' behavior. Detailed personality profile data for millions of American voters that Cambridge Analytica stole was accessed in Russia, according to a British lawmaker. Donald Trump's campaign hired a small-time website designer to run its 2016 operations that blossomed into Brad Parscale's current job running the Trump 2020 campaign. Jared Kushner had no political experience either and isn't a programmer, but was nominally in charge of the Trump campaign's digital advertising, which Bannon's company performed. But behind the scenes, both the BBC and Bloomberg News revealed that Cambridge Analytica, and we now know, its use of stolen personal data to influence voters on Facebook, was the real strategic operation behind the campaign from an office in San Antonio, Texas. Eventually, even Wikileaks confirmed contacts with the data company's ex-CEO Nix who openly took credit for Trump's victory in front of Brittany Kaiser, who is now talking with Mueller. Alexander Nix also brazenly told an undercover investigation last year that candidates are just puppets, not unlike how Hillary Clinton described Donald Trump at their final presidential election debate. He also admitted that Cambridge Analytica had such granular control over the Trump campaign, they even selected the cities for his hate rallies.
it appears that now, because of a woman sick of covering up for liars, special counsel Mueller is hot on the trail toward factually confirming Clinton's prophetic description of Trump in 2016 and perhaps revealing the hand of Russian influence in Cambridge Analytica's psychological war against democracies in America and the United Kingdom.